CIET NCERT presents audiobook Looking Around Textbook of Environmental Studies for Class 3 Page number 134 Chapter number 20 Drop by Drop Madhu lives in Bajju a small village in Rajasthan It is hardly a village. All you see is sand all around. One can see some houses when the sand does not blow. Everyone in Madhu's family is upset. Every summer there is water scarcity in his place. This year it is worse. It did not rain at all. His mother and sister have to walk a longer distance to fetch water as the nearby pond has also dried each day they spend hours just to get four pots of water while walking on the hot sand their feet burn and blisters just cannot be avoided there is a picture given on page number 134 in this picture There are six ladies walking on the sand with pitchers on their head and in their hands. And a lady has a small kid with her too. One of the lady is filling the pitcher with water from a nearby pond. Note In the picture given here consciously defined gender role of women has been shown. that is fetching water discuss on this issue in the class to remove gender discrimination page 135 when the train carrying water comes they are very happy madhu's father goes to fetch water in his camel cart but this does not happen often people keep waiting days and days for water a picture is made on page number 135 it has a drawing of a small house different things like a roof pipe lid and an underground tanka have been written to tell it to the children some people collect rain water this is done by a special method by making tanks or tanka do you know what a tanka is and how it is built to build a tanka a pit is dug in the courtyard and it is made pakka the tanka is kept covered with a lid the roof of the house is made sloping so that the rain water collected here flows through a pipe into the tanka a sieve is attached to the mouth of the pipe so that no dirt goes into the tanka this water is used for drinking after it is cleaned sometimes madhu is allowed to take water from one of the tankas of the village think what are the difficulties people face due to scarcity of water one from where do the people in madhu's village fetch water for drinking two who fetches water in madhu's house three water collected in the tanka is mostly used for drinking why four Is rain water collected in your house as well? If yes, how? 5. Can there be any other method of collecting water? Note. If children share their experiences of local methods of collecting water, then they can link the information given in the textbook to their real life. Page number 136. Just like Madhu, Sonal also faces water scarcity in her house. She lives in Bhavnagar. 
water is supplied only for half an hour in a day. All the people of the area depend on only a single tap. Can you imagine what happens? Sonal is determined to take water from the tap. Whenever she gets a chance, she fills her bucket even if it is just drop by drop. Let us find out how many drops will fill a bowl or a mug. Do activities as shown in the picture and write answers in the boxes. There is a picture given on page number 136. It is divided into four parts. In the first part, few drops are falling down in a spoon. In the second part, few drops are falling out of the spoon in a bowl. In the third picture, water is being filled in a mug with the help of a bowl. In the fourth picture, a bucket is being filled with water with the help of a mug. Now, there are questions written in each box. 1. How many drops will fill a spoon? Write your answer in the small blank box given here. 2. How many spoons will fill a bowl? Write your answer in the small blank box given here. 3. How many bowls will fill a mug? Write your answer in a blank box given here. 4. How many mugs will fill a bucket? Write your answer in the blank box given here. Have you seen how we got so much water drop by drop? Page number 137 Just think, if a tap leaks even drop by drop, how much water would be wasted? These pictures show you something similar. There is a picture given on page number 137 and this picture is divided into two parts. In the first part, few drops are coming out of the tap. In the second part of the picture, a boy is brushing his teeth and water is flowing unnecessarily from another tap. Can you think of ways of saving water? Write your suggestions here. Have you seen water flowing unnecessarily in your home, school or any other place? Where? Write your answer in the space given here. Look at the pictures on the next page and discuss. Can we use the water that has been used for one purpose for something else? Note. In places where there is a scarcity of water, people adopt different methods to save and reuse water. People do this out of necessity. Understanding this, if children adopt certain measures and save water, then they can actually understand that water is for all. Page number 138 There is a picture given on page number 138. This picture is divided into three parts. In the first picture, a lady is going to fetch water with two pitchers, one on his. In the first part, a lady is coming back after fetching water. A pitcher is placed on her head and she is holding another pitcher by her hand. In the second picture, lady is taking a bath, sitting on a cot and there is a tub placed under the cot to collect used water while bathing. In the third picture, lady is reusing the bathing water that was collected in a tray to clean her cow. And she's using the same to water the plants. Draw lines using different colors.
to show which work will be done after the other so that the same water can be reused. One example has been given. There are six boxes made on page 138. These boxes have the names of different kinds of work which will be done one after the other so that the same water can be reused. The example solved here is The water which is used for washing fruits and vegetables can also be used to water the plants. The different works that are written in the boxes are Washing hands and face Washing clothes Washing fruits and vegetables Mopping the floor Watering plants Using in the toilet You have to show which work will be done after the other so that the same water can be reused. You have given some suggestions to reuse water. People use these methods only under conditions when there is a scarcity of water. Do you know one of the reasons for the scarcity of water is because people waste it? Just think how good it would be if everyone got water. Note, this would help the children to understand the importance of saving water. It will be useful to listen and adopt suggestions given by the students in this regard. Discuss the reuse of water. Chapter number 20 Drop by Drop ends here. You were just listening to the audiobook Looking Around Textbook in Environmental Studies for Class 3 Recorded by Batalang Lingdo and Mayank Kumar Production Assistance by Meenakshi Kukreti Produced by Vimlesh Chaudhary Presented to you by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India